Belfast. We are here with the members of Gvelertak. Do I pronounce it? Do I pronounce it right? Yeah. I was not sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Velotak. Yeah. But we should make you uh, write it and see how you do then. <laughs> you can say it, but writing is the hard one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're good. Everything's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for accepting to spend a little time uh, with us. Of course. So we're gonna go straight with my first question. You play at something like a little before six, I believe, on the Valley stage. Yeah. So um, how are you feeling about this? Yeah. Excited. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're super stoked to play. The only really excited to play. The only shitty thing about today is that we play uh, when Ingve Malmsten is playing, and I really want to see Ingve Malmsten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that sucks <laughs> that we're not able to see Ingve, the yeah. fucking guitar god of the universe. <laughs> but uh, but besides from that. It's good. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. So can't you ask like the the stage manager to put a little monitor with a screen, you know? <laughs> and you just play and you see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're gonna do that actually. Yeah. 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 Let's do that. <laughs> so it's gonna make me feel super insecure, of course, because yeah. he is the master of yeah. rock and roll. <laughs> so to watch him and then we play, like, oh fuck, I don't know if I want to see that actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll see it on YouTube later. I'll see it on this channel later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Is there any other bands that you actually saw uh, that are playing tonight and you really don't want to miss? You're gonna stay here after the live tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna. We don't leave until uh, very early in the morning. Okay. So we saw, or I saw. I don't know if you saw Alien Weaponry nope. earlier on May stage. That was really, really good. That was cool. Gonna watch Suicidal Tendencies later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're super excited to that and. Uh, what else? Fucking Ingvi Malmsten, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and we are sharing stage with uh, Mr. Bungle and yeah. uh, Dave Lombard was playing drums. Yeah. And I believe he is uh, better than ever, you know. And uh, he's a big, big hero for every drummer that plays rock or metal, you know. So I'm going to be on s watching him from the side stage, yeah. I hope. So, uh, yeah. That's, and then, of course, that's a cool thing. the heroes of the world, Metallica, are playing tonight. Sure. So we're all going to watch them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be the first time for us. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah. I, I mean, of course, well, in general, never seen Metallica live. And of course, we're going to watch Metallica. Yeah. But okay, let's go back to you guys. Yeah. So you have something, I believe, maybe one hour set or a little less. 50 minutes. 50, 50 minutes. 15. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. So when it's like this, because I, I think you're used to play a little bit longer, do you adapt the set list, for example? Is Do you choose like to all the bangers or, you know, do you adapt the set list to the time and maybe the, the public, the audience as well? Yeah, we do. We have like one. It's funny because every like every uh, gig this summer, it's 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, 65 minutes. So you have to kind of, uh, we have the same set list kind of, but you take one or two songs out, but it always keeps at least me on edge because you always forget what's the next, you, you don't get into groove, yeah. which is cool because you always have to like, oh fuck, it's that one, oh fuck, yeah. it's that one. So today uh, we're gonna fuck up a lot of things. <laughs> Look, extra good on the set list before I come to four, you know, yeah. it's my job, you know, I, keep, I gotta keep this all together, you know, yeah. so. Uh, so, okay, yeah, 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 you know. No, but it's gonna be good. We play some new songs, we play some old bangers. We, uh, we hope that it will please the French audience. <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure it will. I mean, I think I think I've never really seen this kind of. Uh, I, I saw the, the the label Black and Roll. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure if it's uh, maybe it's general, but does it does it describe well the music? And I'm not sure I've seen it a lot in a lot of other bands actually. You know, and the, and the are, scene. Uh, we are a very unique band from Norway. <laughs> we only only Black and Roll band in the world. <laughs> So uh, that's why you haven't seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very, uh, very unique for us. I don't know why we call it like, yeah. you know, metal and rock. It's all mm. if you look at all these people, you know, on this wall, there's a bunch of, you know, rock stars and it's all 95 percent of rock and metal is just to look cool <laughs> and sound cool. Yeah. And black and roll was the coolest thing that we came up with. So we just call it that now. I don't know. Nobody knows what it means. We actually saw yesterday, uh, I believe, a Greek band called Planet of Zeus. Oh yeah, we yeah. Went yeah. through with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent. We tried to tour with them. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did a couple. Of there is a story there. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the most boring story in the world yeah. because it's COVID nineteen. We got uh, fuck, fuck that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck that story. Yeah, yeah. That story. We had a really good tour with uh, Planet of Zeus. Yeah. It was supposed to be yeah. five weeks. 
it became, I don't know, yeah, yeah. like yeah. 11 days and then we all had to head home. We, and I know that Planet of Zeus, they had, because we just, we drove to Norway real quick. Like we were on a ferry and got home and we talked to them and like four days, we were home for four days and they're like, oh, we're still in Vienna. They couldn't go to, uh, back to Greece. couldn't get back to Greece. So they were, yeah. So I hope they're good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see you uh, for your live uh, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, we are preparing a kind of a report about the technical aspects of big festivals. So we're gonna interview like stage builders and managers, oh, cool. you know, That's because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was wondering for you as musicians, what is like a, a technical, uh, an important technical aspect of a festival? When you arrive somewhere, yeah. is it that the rider is everything you ask? Is it the schedule? Is it the number of roadies you have? Like, what is really important for you? Uh, for Good bathrooms. Good bathrooms. <laughs> That's the only important thing. Yeah. Everything else can be whatever. <laughs> for me, as a drummer, you know, uh, being on, on festivals is, uh, I have to spend three hours every day to build a drum kit from scratch. Because nobody else can do it by me, yeah. because I have to it's have it a specific, specific, yeah, specific yeah. way. And there's a new drum kit every day, a new brand every day. So I need to do it myself. So I. I don't see those guys before we go on stage. Mostly, I, you know, I go with the crew, so I'm um, most. I'm more of a crew guy. When we're on the festival, <laughs> I don't know what's important. Like uh, food, of course. Yeah. Warm coffee is nice, but it's not like important. It's important to have a place to be. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a backstage or if it's a, like health fest, this place is insane. You know, this is like well, the best. I did the effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're not too noisy either. You know, yeah. if, if the backstage area is it's it's really really close to the to a stage or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just you can't talk, you can't do anything, you know, you're, you're inside of this uh, yeah, noisy alley. So. But uh, I don't know, if, it, if it's a stage and there's power, yeah. <laughs> it's something, <laughs> there's something to do with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't need this. Yeah. much more than that, actually. Okay, thank you very much, guys. We're going to see you at 6. Yeah. We are yeah. fucking impatient about it. Yeah. Cool. And we'll see the interview later. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah.